Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was a okay day. It rained, but it was okay. The sun shone for part of the day and it rained for part of the day. The temperature was sweater weather for me and comfy for others. The wind was whooping a lot and my tr my chicken tractor was being moved as long as it doesn't spill the water that I have under there. I do have two other watering containers for the chickens but I keep the one outside for them and the wind was knocking things around but I think it's still okay. Well I was trying to make a video and I was gonna, I didn't, didn't like it, so I went to erase it and the camera didn't want to turn on. The battery was dead. So it's a good thing that I started over. I just looked to see if the light's on. I almost thought it wasn't for a minute, but it would have clicked off by now if it wasn't. Um, I went to the gym and I did my own exercise because the trainer was off today. And so I went there and then I went to the, um, Spectrum store? Spectrum. Yeah. yeah. Spectrum Internet store. Internet store. I went there because I wanted to see cable store. cable store, yes. I wanted to see if I could change my daughter's um phone too, because I pay her phone bill. But because I'm not on her cable plan, I couldn't do it. She has to do it herself. So I called her no, don't you just love this? I called her and left not two mess, not two messages, but three messages now, because even though their little thing says, "Hi, you've reached Emily. I can't get back to you right now, but I will as soon as I can." Well, leave your name and number. Well, I leave my name. I am. This is your mother calling. <laughs> and in case you don't know my number, and I tell her my number, and she never calls back. And then she says, "Well, she was busy. She heard the message, but she's busy." Well. I'm waiting now again for her to call me back and if she doesn't call me tomorrow I guess I'll be calling her again and leaving a fourth message and I'll be telling reminding her that's my mother or that's her mother and she should do as she says on her her um, little message that I will get back to as soon as I can Wow my one phone <laughs> my little track phone I did set up a voicemail, but I don't know how to access it. So I said, you can leave a message and I'll try to get to you when I figure out how to turn this thing on. And um, a couple people have left messages and I, it says I have one voicemail there. Call the number. Well, I think I figured it out. So I did listen to the voicemail. And, um, but every time... I have to do that. It's like I don't remember the number again, so I just kind of guess. And then it says, I'm sorry, that is not the correct number, and it won't let me through. So then I don't know how to find that voicemail again because it disappears. And it's not as easy. And when I do get a text, I don't know who's calling. Like on your on your nicer phones, on the phones that cost you a lot of money, the cell phones. Smart. It, smart? Yeah, Are they? smartphones. They tell you who's calling. Mine, until I hang up or answer the, the text, I don't know who's texting me. I don't know who's calling me. It doesn't tell me anything. It just says there's somebody calling. And num uh, if you don't recognize, and I don't recognize numbers, I think I talked about that before. I didn't want numbers, my number to change because I have a hard time remembering numbers. There's only three numbers I know. I know my number, I know my youngest daughter's number, I know my oldest daughter's number, and I know my husband's number. But I have to have the phone in my hand to be able to dial it because it's my fingers that really know the number, not me. I don't know if you've um, found that you do that too. That is, if you're doing it, you're doing it without thinking. But if you're thinking, you can't think of it. So that's kind of crazy. Well, I guess that's about all I've got to say today. I don't have any stories to tell you other than I did have a few stories, but I couldn't remember. When I was reading my comments, 
if I could answer you in person right then and there, I'm sure you'd get a story because they do spark a story. But then after a while, it's kind of wears off the the story doesn't feel like it should be told then because it's, it's like past. It's like you're chewing your cabbage twice. You don't want to chew it twice. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's like the feeling has gone. You're done. Well, I guess I'm done. Jib's going to look at the newspaper, and so you'll be hearing some rattling. So I will close up, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. I hope you have a great night, and I'll see you then. Bye.